Well, I'll tell you what, folks, I am stoked. Greetings, folks, and welcome to Civic Engagement Radio. For those of you who know me, I'm Jacques Howard, and for those of you who don't, I have a bunch of different names that I go by. Um, the Voice of Black Cannabis, uh, Civic Engagement Radio is one of them. Uh, I've got a couple other nicknames, but we'll have to get into a further relationship before we can get into those kinds of conversations. Um, the website that I do most of my work out of is my name, Jacques hyphen howard.com there is the landing spot for all the things that i'm doing and it's spelled out in the acronym reach r-e-a-c-h recreation environment art and culture civic engagement health and nutrition now <clears throat> i have a whole list of partners and things but we're not going to go through all of them because i really want this to be about an opportunity to use my platform and my access to connect people with whatever they need, whether it's a conversation, a service, a product, a need. I believe that I have some amazing human beings in my life. Not only the folks who I call my, my immediate blood family and my neighbors, but also the folks who, um, you. And I think it's important for us all to connect. So um, that is pretty much the intro. This will be shared again through multiple outlets. Um, if you are plugging a business, if you're plugging a calls, you will absolutely get some traction and some eyes on what you're doing here. And as things grow and progress, I hope that you'll reciprocate and hey, break some advertising dollars off or something of that nature um, and we can partner. Um, so let's do this here. I'm going to ask um, P, because I can't see you, it would be awesome if you would show your face on a video. And if you don't want to do that, that's fine. Um, we'll figure out something, because again, this is going to be a bit organic. And then we're going to go with Tangela, and then Richard, and then P. So let's start with Tangela. Um, can you unmute yourself and give yourself uh, 30 seconds or so, introduce who you are, um, Maybe a little bit about how you and I have known each other over the years, and then uh, drop some information about what you're doing. Um, okay, so uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Tangela Wright. Um, some affectionately know me as um, Miss Wright on Time. Um, Jack Priest and I have uh, crossed many paths in a lot of different community service platforms um, out and about within the city of Trenton and a few other places. Um, um, I am a president of a social club. I am one of the outreach partners. Um, I'm part of the outreach team for Transformation Church, as well as um, my older son uh, is affiliated with the Old Barracks. So um, I'm over there doing some things with them, as well as the, um, the Spot Soundstage has opened uh, downtown in Trenton, which is a... Um, sound studio, they make videos, they do a lot of drum covers in which my son is a co-partner with two other young men. So I'm usually out and about within the city, uh, community service and things of that nature, seeing who needs what and how I can help them along, as well as um, I, we also uh, do some things with Restoring Hearts as well. So I've been, you know, in that community service realm and, uh, taking care of, uh, you know, our people on the streets and people, you know, families that may not be on the streets that need some additional help or some, you know, be pointed in the right direction for over the past 10 years or so. For as long as I've been doing Trenton 365 yeah. and my community work, we've been out there. So shout out to you <laughs> and all the support you've provided over the years. Um, I want to make sure that Darian, um, he connects because folks need to know about um, this professional musician that's in our, in our midst and the stuff that he's doing. Um, and big shout out um, to the old barracks as well and the crew that's down there for keeping um, the history going. Um, I know a lot of folks can't really connect to it. And I think that's part of how the marketing has been over, done over the years. Maybe through conversations like this, we can talk about how things can change in that realm. Um, but uh, Algernon Ward, um, uh, New York right. Nick, um, everybody who's doing the stuff down there, big shout out to y'all. Um, I'd love to have you come back on and talk about things that are happening. Um, I know there was something that happened earlier today um, downtown as well, but this is also part of, of what this process is for us to talk about these things so that in this small town that we have, people can stop saying, oh, I didn't even know about that. Well, there's no reason why you shouldn't have known about it. So thanks, Tangela. If you want to stay on, you can. If you don't, 
um, I'll connect. Uh, I'll put your information up on social media when I share this video as well. Okay. I'll hang out for a little bit. All right, that'll work. Cool. Richard, I'm going to ask you to unmute and I'm going to ask you to join in and introduce yourself. And then uh, we'll talk a little bit about who you are and what you got going on. All right. Well, as you can tell by my accent straight away, I'm British. Um, I'm living in New Jersey right now. I'm involved in um, independent filmmaking. Um, I'm also involved in cycle racing. And I don't actually live in Trenton, but as Trenton is the capital of New Jersey, the capital is like the heartbeat of the state. And so it's important, you know, to get involved in that. Um, yeah, so I do a whole bunch of stuff from uh, getting involved with live events for music uh, and movies and, and a whole bunch of other creative stuff. Yeah. Mm. Well, that's fantastic to hear that. And um, I don't know if you've known or heard anything about me in the past, but um, you have come to the absolute right place. Um, uh, this is, and, and this ties into what uh, we were talking about with um, the old barracks. You nailed it when you said that this is the capital. A lot of folks don't realize that this is the capital of New Jersey, but this is also the birthplace of our country. In fact, George Washington, as we know him, became that man on the streets of Trenton. And that's the information that we need to share a little bit more. And I've encouraged the city in the past to uh, produce marketing and to talk about that more. And guys, you, you waited too long. So now I'm putting this out in public. I'm putting it on blast. So this is my intellectual property, you knuckleheads. You owe me. Trenton, New Jersey, where George Washington became George Washington by Jacques Howard. So, um, Richard, um, it's also cool to hear that you're a filmmaker. I'd love to connect you with some of the other filmmakers I know in town. Um, we've got them from all different varieties. If you want to work with, with uh, non-binary folks, men, women, different um, ethnicities, it's all here. And I bet you've probably... Here's a, a something I'm doing right now. I'm doing uh, a pilot. It's basically very low budget, but for uh, a fantasy series. And it's called A Demon Called Grace. That's out there on Facebook. Please uh, like and follow and um, it's got your friend Eileen uh, Sullivan. <laughs> awesome. And uh, we're shooting scene, actually we're shooting a big scene um, at Bill Nob's place, which as you know, is the house of robot. <laughs> so, which is how we connected, which is how I saw your face every week. I've been following you guys from, you know, when you've been doing the music events, the hip hop and the rock and everything else that's been going on in between. Sweet, sweet. And so I'm like, yeah, okay, uh, definitely. You were the guy to uh, reach out to, to connect with. And I realized, you know, you got it going on. Oh. And when I saw as well in your uh, Facebook post about what was happening and the sport that I'm involved in with the cycle racing, because I meant, I saw you mentioned cycling and I was like, I really need to get involved with you because I'm trying to introduce a sport from Europe over here, which has been going on in the rest of the world for almost what a hundred years. Uh, so it started in the 1920s and it's never took off over here and it's called cycle speedway and we're looking for a venue to get it all going it's just short oval racing lots of fun it can be a team sport individual sport and so yeah you were the guy to say okay i need a platform to be able to introduce this and so thank you oh you're welcome richard and uh, i feel so thankful that you said that and welcome to um america and so to speak but um yeah i'm definitely going to connect more with you um to hear more about um your version of what's happening with cycling um and tcr absolutely trenton cycling revolution trentoncycling.org i'm the current president of that organization but it's a nonprofit that's been around for over two decades um, we've got some really cool things that are happening we've gotten a new initiative that we've launched called pedal it forward um, where we're trying to get bicycles into hands of anyone who wants a bicycle from children all the way up to having bikes modified. We've got a couple of fabricators um, in the region who um, have do excellent work. Mm -hmm. Kinsley and Jun Jun King of Funky Funky Town Velo. Um, and uh, they're all available. Um, and again, that's what Civic Engagement Radio was about, getting people connected to what's happening in their communities, the subculture from the people um, who are actually doing that. And thank you very much, R Richard. And um, we'll connect um, and we'll follow up. I, um, this was very, very organic how this all happened, but we'll follow up with everybody who tunes in and uh, we may create a nice little uh, networking group out of this as things open up. All right, and I'm gonna go to my man, Preston, Eric, uh, Eric Wiggins, E, I'm gonna bring you in. Um, Eric, I'm gonna put you 
ask you to mute yourself and stay muted. I'm going to have you come on and introduce yourself after Preston and talk a little bit about what you're doing. And then through it, throughout, you'll figure out um, exactly how organic this is and what it's all about. If you want to bring your video on, that would be cool as well. And Preston, you want to bring your video on? And if not, we'll figure something out with that as well. Yeah, can you hear me? Are we good to go? You great, man. You you want to bring your video on? My video is not working at the moment. All right, cool, no problem. So I will stay on with you, and then uh, how about I introduce you a little bit, and then you go from there and talk about a bit of, of what you do and uh, some of the things that you have going on outside of the work that I'm going to be talking about. Okay. Great. Sure. So I met Preston Hall um, several years ago via uh, Black Cannabis, and that was one of the, I think it was called the Cannabash. I always get the names wrong, but it was through Black Cannabis, and uh, Preston was talking about hemp. And he was one of the first people I met who was specifically talking about hemp in a manner of the products that it can be, can be used or made via hemp. Um, from there, as I've became, become more exposed um, to cannabis and medical marijuana and hemp and the industries that, and the macro industries are part of them, uh, I've been connecting more with people such as Preston, um, who's introduced me to some other regional groups. And uh, we've actually even talked about some local projects involving um, hemp Crete. And uh, just uh, confirmed tonight that through Black Cannabis 365, we're going to be doing a show on uh, hemp Crete, uh, explaining a lot of the information about it, um, what it is, what it isn't, the terminology, what are some of the applications, et cetera. So Preston Hall, um, how was that for an introduction? It was great. Thank you so much, Shock. Uh, you got it, my man. So um, Preston, let's talk a bit about um, the industry that you're in, plug your website and your partner. Great. Yep. So we are, like I said, like Josh said, we're in the hemp industry. We're you can go to cannabis.com if you're interested in the hemp and it's been a little bit outside of your budget to get to start experimenting with the plant. Uh, cannabis is about is a cannabis coupon code website where you can get all of our recommendations on the latest extracts, uh, nutritional and nutritional and industrial applications for it. And I definitely recommend going to Jacques Trenton 365 channel. Uh, we've done two interviews so far together and we go in deep into how it's can, the trend com community can use it. So um, it's about two hours worth of content alone when you go look at those videos. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to be on today and just following up on the bike, the bicycle and um, what you just mentioned. Um, I think there's a lot of opportunity for trend to expand their bicycling program. I see a lot of other townships like Lawrenceville and Ewing making bike lanes. And I'm excited to see Trent have those as well. And once Trent does, you know, there's a lot of bike paths that they can go off into. Um, Lawrence and Hopewell, the Lawrence Hopewell Trail is about 21 mile network. So looking forward to seeing more bike lanes pop up. Awesome. Awesome, Preston. And um, I can't wait to get you back on with your video working. This don't work too, too good for TV. I think people don't want to tune in and see my mug. They want to see my guests, <laughs> but I'm laughing and I got a big smile on my face. But um, so under Jacques Reach, Recreation, um, TCR, and again, the website is trentoncycling.org. It's a nonprofit organization and an award-winning nonprofit organization. Um, we, we are the advocacy, advocacy organization for biking, and pretty much all things, and I'm expanding this, human powered with wheels and pedestrians. And so uh, thinking about these ideas of alternative industries, tying in the arts community that's already here, also tying in that this is a central hub, there's a, uh, a need for it. Um, less than 50% of uh, Trentonians have licenses to drive. Um, we're, our, we're a hub for the trails that come from the north, from New Brunswick area, as well as uh, the south from Bordentown and Frenchtown, et cetera, and even across the bridge into Pennsylvania. It behooves us to make sure that we capitalize this area. Like uh, the real estate agents always say, location, 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 and Trenton needs to do that. Um, it's interesting that you brought up bike lanes because, um, you know, we've been working and I have individually in our neighborhood just with trying to have traffic calming measures 
and introducing bike lanes and bike shadows. And through the years, it's been crazy some of the things that we've heard, like, um, you know, it costs too much money and things like that, when literally it's just paint. It's like you can spray paint this on the ground. And so I think that that points to a bit to where we are with uh, the, the leadership that has been here and has cycled through and currently is uh, with their thinking. Um, are we going to be forward thinking and come up with some new ideas? Or are we going to say, no, I can't do this or it, it's not available to us. But the bike lanes is a wonderful idea and it's something that is simple, especially when you consider it's part of the Trenton 250 master plan. It's part of the complete streets program. Um, it's a state program. Trenton has roads that are state owned. Um, County owned, city owned, all the out, the county does this on their roads, et cetera. It's really just a matter of um, aligning some things and getting people to sign off on it. So thank you very much, Preston, um, for bringing that up. And I hope you stick around a little bit. And I'm going to spring on uh, Eric Wiggins. E, I'm going to ask you to unmute yourself. And can you get your video to come on? Done. Nice, my man. I'm gonna I'm gonna back off of go. this. I'm gonna back off of this pen. But um, so this is going to be recorded and distributed through all the networks. Just want to go through the particulars and let you know that we're recording it now. So I just want you to introduce yourself. Um, just talk a little bit about some of the work that you do, any current projects. And the idea behind this is that it's another platform for um, people to get together and talk about what they're doing and what's happening in their communities. Um, well, for those who don't know, my name is Eric Wiggins. I'm one of the managing partners for Wiggins Entertainment Group. And it's not the traditional setting for when you hear entertainment group. We are working in a traditional setting of the word entertainment by way of means of what holds your attention. And with that being said, there's a plethora of things that's going on, whether it be civically, uh, racially, um, things of that nature. My focus where we're working at now is in, you know, the HR and the conference rooms because, you know, we have the racial disparities outside in the streets, but it's even more horrendous behind closed doors and, and, and in these conference rooms when you're talking about work and unions that's supposed to advocate on your behalf. And for lack of a better word, they're pretty much helping to, um, abuse a lot of people in a sense. So I know there's a lot of people that, that as far as when you say network and then you kind of like picture a net in your head, there's, there's points in the net and we all are on this net, but it's not connected because we don't communicate to eradicate some of these problems. I'm grateful for the fact that you have the, um, as you say, organic uh, masseuse to do things like this and get people on, it's needed. It's sorely needed. It, it, it's in so many different ways, but not to go too far from the tangent. What we also do is not just advocate in that avenue, but we look at rewriting the language so that these same issues don't keep coming up as a hindrance. And People don't know there's public seats available on these different boards, different committees, things of that nature. And I know I'm probably talking to the choir when I say this, um, but it's more than just voting. You have to know who your, your, your district leader is. You have to know who your senator is. You have to take some time and, and, and sit and even find out who your council people are. Like, there's things going on on a continuous basis that if it's not that flash in the pan or that hot thing that everybody's talking about, we're kind of disengaged with it until it actually knocks on our door and, and causes us to wake up somewhat. So being proactive instead of reactive is the theme and the means. Um, right now, that's the one project we're working on. Uh, I hope we don't get castrated by it because we're dealing with some big unions and they're pretty much super PACs in a sense, but David took out Goliath. Mm -hmm. So anything is possible. Um, another one is I spoke with you, Jack, briefly on it in re regards to cycling through the city 
whereas it could be, you know, it's still organic and it's still forming, but having it to the point where you do have that set again, where individuals can get, you know, get part of the ride. And if the ride is going to East Trenton, then the destination is, for instance, Hessel Park, being that it's fully done over again. Well, not completely, but it's been taking a nice makeover. And whoever that war representative is, or their uh, representative could speak with the, the, the bike tour once we get to the park and then give them a small rundown of some of their responsibilities, some of the things they do, um, possible resource and contact numbers so that the breadth of civic engagement is kind of expanded a little bit, you know, to where people can get it a little bit more. Gotcha. Um, Eric, I'm going to I'm going to ask you to hang on because we got one more person I'm going to bring on and we've got like three minutes. So um, this was actually <clears throat> quite fruitful already. But um, thank you very much, Eric. And um, I'm going to connect everybody via email so everyone knows each other. You want to stick around, do so. If not, I understand as well. So I'm going to bring on uh, Chester Jones now. And uh, Chester's got a bunch of things going on in the Villa Park area. He's got a wonderful piece of artwork behind him. And that piece of artwork is, is by his amazing wife, who I understand recently celebrated a birthday. So yes, make sir, sure that you is correct. Make sure you tell her that I said, what's up? And I think it's, it's prime time for uh, me to have a piece added to the Howard family collection. Absolutely. I see you got a, 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 a nice collection behind you as well. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Um, so for those of you who are looking, so... The, this piece is mine, this piece is mine, but this is Roy Hames, known as Billy M.F. Brown. He's also a tattoo artist. And then way in the background, we've got an Anthony Fearon and then a Casso in the other room. But um, we've uh, been very fortunate over the years um, because I believe so much in the art, uh, the art marketplace. Um, my wife Vanessa and I and our son DJ, we just started buying art of our friends um, and the stuff that we like. So the idea is that um, as they grow and expand, that's part of our, our investment portfolio. So we often encourage people to consider that as well. I used to have this tagline, see them and buy them while you can. <laughs> you can afford it. But um, let's jump right in, Chester, and talk a little bit about, introduce yourself one, and talk about um, one of your current projects. Sure, so hello everyone, my name is Chester. Uh, my wife, Jasmine, and I, we are the founders of the Trenton Makes Athletic Center, a newly formed nonprofit organization in the city of Trenton. And we are on a mission to transform Trenton's youth into student athletes through competitive sports training, education and tutoring, and community engagement. Trenton is often known for producing what the world takes. Well, we are here to tell the world that Trenton makes athletes too not just um, gang members, murderers, you know, all that type of stuff that um, our city is also known for, that negative stuff. Uh, we also just, uh, a lot of people know us for our soccer initiatives, but uh, we are more than just soccer. Uh, we are community activists and our organization um, programs actually deal with some of the ills that the city faces. One in particular is what we're doing this summer, which is called a uh, summertime senior and adult health and fitness program, where we're going to uh, several different parks around the city and we're introducing a health and fitness game that we created called Dance Dance Bazingo. And basically what we did was we took the game of bingo and dancer sized it. And yeah. we do it on a life-size bingo board. And uh, we are inviting all of our seniors and our adults who live in those uh, areas to come out and play and get fit and healthy and actually travel around with us to all the other parks in the city. We've been to several parks already and they love it. I mean, we've the mayors came to one of our events and they're actually thinking about um, getting us to take it to the streets, just like your, your cycling event. So um, we're excited about it. Uh, we'll be coming to Franklin Park in August, and um, hopefully uh, you guys spread the word. Uh, our next event is going to be at Warren Plaza, which is right across from Cathedral Square Senior Center. We were rained out uh, two weekends ago, but once we come back, they are looking forward to it. 
<laughs> awesome, awesome. So, um, all right. So, everyone's introduced themselves, and um, so this is this is cool because this gives me a better understanding of gauge of time. So, probably six people may be enough at a, at a clip um, to go in and talk, and then come back and have some other conversations. So, we've got about three minutes left, and everyone is, um, you know, I want you to all unmute yourselves. All right. And uh, Preston as well. Okay, everybody unmute. And then um, Preston, since we can't see you, I'd like for you to jump in and just <clears throat> based upon what you've heard from tonight, from this idea, this experiment, um, just a couple of words, um, keep it brief, and then we'll swing it around and Tangela will have you go next, and then Richard, etc. I definitely met some new faces tonight, which is great, and didn't know about the sports nonprofit. So it's nice to learn about new things going on in Trenton, and usually Jock's organizing it. So <laughs> it's awesome. Love, love seeing it. Oh, blessings, bro. Thank you very much. Tangela. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and take you back off of Preston. It's always great and a pleasure to see you do your thing. And, you know, we always cross in. Um, I did know about the program that um, Chester has because I see the flowers come up um, through my feed. Um, I did come out to check out one from afar. Um, that's kind of what I do. Things that are new that's happening in the city, I kind of come check it out first so that when I do come across some other people, I can refer them. Um, you may want to also look into the, um, the Trenton Health uh, organization. I can give you that information, but for any programs that you're looking to uh, build a healthy relationship with um, adults, children, and seniors. Um, if you put that program together and uh, work with some other people to collaborate on it, um, and of course they're um, incorporating um, it from a Bible-ish view, but I'm pretty sure you could work that out, but they will give you, um, you can participate in a grant and the grant is 1500. So um, I'm actually working on that uh, with my church as well, but I'm more than happy to pass that information on. Um, Fantastic. It is, is great. Yep, Tanja, I want to cut you off there and say, yep. uh, Chester, absolutely. Uh, the person you want to talk to is Matt Broad. Also mentioned to him that you have some interest in um, the skateboarding and BMX as well. Matt is also connected to Freedom NJ, um, and he as well as, um, I'm always forgetting your name, I apologize. Um, Left Isles is now at the Julia, Julia Taylor, I apologize. Um, they are very connected to, to what's happening, um, including the arts economy, um, et cetera. So you guys sh should all talk and uh, go from there. Richard. Hi, um, am I muted? No, you're good. Okay, good. I was muting and I'm muting myself because I'm hitting the keyboard like crazy over here. Um, so yeah, uh, just really thankful to be part of this platform. Uh, Appreciate the opportunity to both connect with people and also let people know what I'm doing. Um, I think it's going to be exciting. I'm really looking forward as well to the cycling thing with the mo with the um, with you, what you guys are doing with cycling, and maybe we can collaborate. We have um, a, we get event sponsorship actually from a bicycle shop in Florham Park as well. So when we put on an event or whatever, um, we're insured and we've got we're, we're covered for bike events um which also helps um so yeah i'm just looking to both to connect with people and you know help out in any way i can you know so yeah fantastic we'll be in touch richard and uh, i think i know about that um that that uh event that you're talking about like there's like uh mopeds that pull the bike around and they race as well with it um Oh, I've not heard about that one. <laughs> okay, well, we'll talk. See, there's a lot of good things coming up out of this. Eric. Definitely. I just, I appreciate the, the opportunity. Um, I actually was rocking with the um, with your crew, CJ. Uh, you, was got, you guys was down there at the Juneteenth for bed. Uh, I, I actually waited while my man was setting up. He was like, ah, 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 ah. I was like, nah, huh, hit me the flirt. First, he's right here, bro. I got you. That's, that's dope. Um. <laughs> This is one of this again, just how, like you say, Jack, I just got to keep jacking your word, the organic. This is organic. And it needs to happen more often because the fabric of Trenton population is constantly changing. 
even though we do have some ingrained people here, the communication and what's going on is what leaves a lot of people out. Mm -hmm. Got you, so got you. So, um, so we'll be talking more about that and the communication portion. And I think that you nailed it. E. Thank you for that. Finishing it up, Chester. Yes, I would like to piggyback off of that, Eric. Um, so I want to actually go ahead and say that uh, because I'm not part of a lot of the inner circles mm -hmm. that are happening around the city, um, uh, this, <laughs> this organic feel of uh, deliverance is amazing. Now, and I told Jock this earlier, I thank them for doing this because I love it. You know, we need to find a way to, to bridge those gaps uh, because we're not in that inner circle, right? And right. hopefully this will actually uh, make that happen. All right, with that being said, I always got to pay the bills, man. I don't run this stuff, so I'm coming, cutting up on time. Thank you all individually for coming up. Love and respect you all. Don't hesitate to reach out to me. I appreciate you all very, very much. Now, as we close up, for, all right, y'all, take care now. And as I say to you right. folks, this is what it's about. It's civic engagement radio, just something simple, organic, just me reaching out to some friends, um, asking folks to tell me what they're doing. Um, because even though we are very connected to one of these things here, we often aren't really connected. So with that being said, don't hesitate to reach out. And remember, Jacques Howard here saying it's always about justice, peace, and humility.